Hello, it's been a while hasn't it? It's been quite a few weeks, I feel like I've just vanished for, I don't know, four or five weeks. It is because I have been working on this van and I'm going to give you a little tour of where I'm up to. It's pretty much finished to be honest now. There are just a few little bits and pieces like I need to do the splash back on the kitchen, the doors, you'll see that they still need sorting. But I think everything else is done and I absolutely love it. I do think actually though we might try and sell this van, make a bit of money off it and like get another one for me. Um, not sure yet, potentially that's the plan. But yeah, let me show you around. This is the view from where I'm sitting. It's a bit sunny, you can't really tell. But I have, the van did have double passenger seats and I really wanted to get a single swivel. Just to open up the van a bit more, you know, these Vivaros, they're small vans and I figured if you had a, a single swivel up there, it would just give that little bit of extra space back here. But, oh my goodness, sourcing a single seat has been really difficult and they're so, so expensive. So I think that we are just going to leave it as a, as a double for now, depending on what happens. Like if we do sell the van, then, you know, we'll sell it as is or if somebody wants to have a double swivel the problem with double swivels i think anyway is it's not just this easy movement you've got to like unscrew the things and it's not i don't know i just i'm not a massive fan of the double swivel um but if we do sell and someone wants one we can fit one for them if i do end up keeping the van then i probably will just continue to look for a single swivel let me actually we'll go outside and i'll show you like from when you walk in the van so you can see that this door hasn't been hasn't been done yet it's just been insulated. I was originally going to put a window up here, but I changed my mind. I wanted to be a bit more stealthy. We also did put a, um, a main hook up. Again, I wasn't going to, but it was just so easy to do in the end. We, might, we thought we may as well whilst we were there. Up on the roof, I've got a 360 watt solar panel. And then I've also got some internet, which has been brilliant having that. That comes down into this cupboard. Here we go. As you come into the van, this is kind of just the little overview of it. I love it. We've got the kitchen all on this one side. This is where you get access to water, to fill up your water. This pulls up as just an extra little bit of counter space which is nice. So I've got a 12 volt fridge there which I am shocked by how much power it's using, to be honest. And it's the first time I've used a 12 volt fridge. It's a fridge freezer, and I'm shocked by how little you can fit in. So I don't know, I'm not a massive fan of it, if I'm if I'm being quite honest. But that's what we got. And I've just got this unit here, which I love the kind of the rustic style of, of the wood and everything. And then this is the bed. It's kind of just a standard, you know, pull-out bed. It goes from this sofa into, it pulls all the way out here and then you just put the cushions on I have got another cushion that I need to figure out where that can be stored when it's in sofa mode to be honest because there's another one that length that width that's at my house at the moment and then underneath the bed we've got a couple of drawers there's one there and there's one here as well put my clothes in and then down at the back here is the diesel heater the diesel heater was, oh my goodness, what an issue. If I could have my time again, <clears throat> I would just put the diesel heater up at the front, but because we were gonna do a swivel, a single swivel, we didn't think there was space for the um, the diesel heater, but with a stationary double passenger seat, we could have just put it under there, because it was an absolute pain doing it there. But anyway, there's, um, <laughs> there is a, a diesel heater in there, which would be nice for the winter. And then, as I sit on the sofa here, this is just a cupboard, it's just got a bit of storage, it's got the internet and then it's got some bits and bobs of food up there. I went for an induction hob, I really, whilst yes it does take a lot of power, electric power, um, I really just didn't want to be faffing with gas and things and I've used it a few times now and I'm, I really really love it. So just like a single, single one there, the control panel for it is just up here. I really love it, I've also got, just stored down there underneath the um what is that a seat <laughs> underneath the seat i've got a little mini air fryer that i can plug in up here because we have got 240 volts here's my lights they're lovely they want to dimmer i love the fact that we made them dimmer we've got six going 
going across the across the ceiling. I love this wood look, the cladding. It's really, really nice. I kind of like like the rustic, the rusticness of it, like with the cladding and then with this type of wood. I really like it. And then here in the kitchen, I've got a sink. It's a, I've just had my breakfast, so I've got some dirty pans in there. But it's a ridiculously deep sink, which is nice to be honest. I didn't want a tiny little crappy, you know, camping sink. I wanted something a bit more substantial, so it's really quite nice. And then in this cupboard is just, you know, fresh water tank and grey water. I've got a little, uh, what is this called, like a funnel? So that if you are filling up from out there, I really wanted to be able to fill up with this thing in situ. So you can just take this, I'll show you. Take this, open the door up, obviously un unscrew that that in and then just shove your water down through there which is nice this is just a little bit of extra storage down there i actually store my flip-flops there usually got a standing knife there because i'm going to do some some standing life stuff later <laughs> yeah so that is that's the sink area it's got one of these um electric pumps for 12 volt tap i really wanted like a nice it seemed like the copper like copper pipe type of sinks. I really kind of wanted one of them, but in the end, I just gave up on it and I've just got one of these that you pump down there and turn it on. It's fine, it's good enough, I guess. <laughs> and then behind here is where all the electrics are. We could probably do with adding a bit more storage on this, on this wall here, I think. So that might be something I take a look at today. In terms of the electrics, there is a <clears throat> 3000 watt inverter got a 200 amp hour battery which to be honest if i was doing this again i would probably go higher on it i would probably get a 360 is it 360 you can get um just because of having the induction hob like it doesn't take a load of power but uh i don't know i would just i would just get a bigger battery i think i mean i, I couldn't have afforded a bigger battery for this one in all honesty this yeah it's cost a fortune i'll tell you at the end how much this has cost me so far <laughs> renovation um, like I say, we've got the mains hookup, which I'm really pleased that we did add. Um, it's all Victron stuff, and it's brilliant because you can just go on the Victron app. I'll show you now. You go on the Victron app, and you can just see like how much charge you've got. You can just check the state of everything. We've got a DC to DC, so that when I'm driving, the you know the, the van battery will charge the leisure battery. Obviously, the solar will charge as well, and then we've also got that mains hookup. So there's lots of options to get power into the van, which is really good. We've also got on this wall. There's one there, and there's one there. These are just little. Uh, I can open it up. A USB. There's two USBs and a USB C charger there for phones and things. So that's nice. And I think that's it. That's the van. That's what I've been up to these past uh, these past few weeks. Like I say, the only things really to do now are the splashback and then just finishing the doors. I'm not quite sure why the doors have been left to last, if I'm quite honest, but that's what's happened. <laughs> In terms of cost of doing this, I have been keeping like a really detailed breakdown of like a spreadsheet of everything that's um, everything that I've been spending. But it's just the electrical system was just a lot of money. I did want to go with Victron. Um, I know you obviously don't have to go with Victron, but I, don't, I personally I just think you know it's the best. It's I like the the app, and I don't know. I just I went with Victron. Like the inverter alone, the three thousand watt inverter, I think was eleven hundred. Um, the battery was six fifty, and then all the other components. It was a lot of money. <laughs> the electrical system the overall, I spent. I haven't done my final calculations, but it's around five thousand pounds on this. Uh, conversion the van cost me five thousand so I've put ten thousand into this van which is crazy absolutely crazy so like I said I do think that we may try to sell it I have, I have no real knowledge or um, information on kind of what this van would be worth if I put it up for sale um, but, but I think that is the plan. We're gonna I'm gonna get it finished hopefully today or tomorrow and then just stick it up and I'll just 
I don't know, I have to do a little bit of research or if anyone has any ideas uh, on potentially how much um, could sell this for but I'll do a little bit of research, stick it on the market, see if there's any interest and just put it up and I'll, I'll like use it whilst it's up on the market um, and then if we can manage to sell it and get a little bit of money from it then I can get another van. There's a lot of lessons that I've learned from doing this van. Um, things I would do slightly different maybe but it's been such an enjoyable process of getting it done and I'm so thankful for the person that's been helping me do this because uh, I definitely couldn't have done this on my own whatsoever the electrical system I found that to be the most interesting part of it all to be honest and I feel like I've learned so much and I could probably do an electrical system myself in the van now I feel like I know I sort of mm, yeah, yeah, I think I could, <laughs> like, there's something like, like a diesel heater, I would never try and fit a diesel heater, just absolutely not. Um, but I feel like the electrical system, I feel like I've got a pretty good grasp of how that all works now, so it's been fun, it has been a really fun process. So hopefully, now this van is done, I can get out on a few little adventures in it before it sells, if it does sell. I'll be sad to, like, let go of it, really, but, um... Yeah, I don't know. We're gonna, I'm gonna take it off for sale. Anyway, thank you so much for watching this video. I will hopefully see you soon. Goodbye.